Camden is a city looking toward the future, but a new city ordinance proposed by one city council member could remove certain symbols of the past. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos has the story. Day in and day out, as time passes and life moves on, memorials of lost loved ones remain. Glimpses of a sorrowful event, a person gone too soon. I love them to pieces. But on a sunny afternoon nearly five years ago, Areda Lamberty's grandson Troy, just 15 years old, was shot and killed while walking home from school. His killer never caught. It was unbelievable. And in the spot where Troy died, Narita placed this angel. That represents life. It's now grown to a permanent memorial, which she visits multiple times a year. He was alive. He, he used to walk through there. He used to play through there. It represents all of that. But a new ordinance. There's some discussions. Perhaps. Proposed by Camden City Councilman Angel Fuentes would allow public works to remove these memorials, often placed on private property, after just 15 days. I have to be mindful to those homeowners, uh, taxpayers, you know, who feel, listen, I want to sell my home. Oh, they have children, and the children are asking questions. I said, what happened here? Some memorials, like the one for Troy, are regularly maintained, but others aren't. I'm concerned about the image of the city. Like this one near Victor Rosa's house, broken glass and trash littering the ground. If someone on the outside coming into the city and they're watching all these uh, memorials in, in, that are erected in the city, they're going to start thinking, wow, you know. This is a killing field here. So Rosa supports a compromise where a vacant lot could be used to erect a permanent memorial. And these dedications scattered throughout Camden could finally be removed. This is dropping the property values of these homes. I don't believe that that is the cause of property values going down. It's the crime itself. But with the debate continuing, at least for the time being, these symbols of death for some and life for others will stay put. Councilman Fuentes says he will continue the dialogue and does plan to reintroduce a new version of the bill come April or May. Reporting here in Camden, I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.